welcome back to Giving Chances Farm. And today we are milking and walking our goats. We're taking advantage of the rain. I hope you can hear it. Um, because we don't want to get caught out in the rain after we're done feeding. So we're gonna walk goats for a little bit until the rain settles down. Right now, all I'm doing is just milking the sky. After Michaela's going to help. After we get her done, then we will put her back and bring hot chocolate out <clears throat> and milk her. I milked her this morning. She seems like she's producing enough milk to um, be able to feed her kids and um, be able to be milked. We're milking hot chocolate due to us finding a couple lumps, kind of like a, a marble sized lump in between the udder, or not the udder, but the teeth. Well, up close, I guess, to the the floor of the bag. So when we contacted the vet and asked her what she thought we should do, she just basically said sometimes that happens with your goats and they tend to get bumps like that. Sorry, babe. Flies are bad, aren't they? And eventually they will work themselves out and it won't cause any kind of problem. But if it happened too, cause a problem to give her a call back and um, she may have to go in and see if she can move that and get it out of the way we know it's not causing any kind of uh, effect of um, the milk flow so that's yeah that's good and when we went out for lunch to feed patty i seen both of them nursing on both sides Okay. Of the, of the udder. So that's good. So the idea of um, milking her is to kind of help possibly with those balls or what you would call it, I guess, in there. Rings. Your ring's getting... No, my ring's kind of... They get turned open. around and then uh, they uh, dig into my uh, fingers. In it's between not, my fingers. Well, that's not good. It's raining pretty good now, isn't it? Yeah. We're planting. Yeah. Uh, the garden definitely needed it and everything else. The grass needed it around here. It was starting to turn a brown color and the plants in the garden needed it. Well, at least we don't have to come out here later tonight um, when we put up the chickens and water the garden. No, nope, that's we a plus. We don't have to do that. If it's still raining, we won't want to even come out here and put the chickens up. Well, the chickens may come in if it's raining too hard. Yeah. So then we'll just, we'll just lock them in for the night. Yeah. Hey. Sorry. Didn't Can't squirt them. each other. You got to hit the bucket. You don't want to waste any milk. I didn't mean to spray you. Oh. Hey, girl. Watch it. Watch out. She was just. I know. It's the, the flies. The flies are. The flies are annoying her. Don't we fly? Well, the fly traps help. We did put a couple fly traps up in the barn to see if that will help with them. 
But they tend to come back here on the milk stand. The milk stand, and uh, I don't know if it's from some of the milk, milk being uh, squirted on it or whatnot, but or uh, the shavings off of the goat clippings off when we clip their feet. But I've noticed some um, in the goat stalls also. Mommy, what we really need to do is just stick a fly trap back here on the wall. Yeah, I don't know where we would stick it. Or we could tie a piece of uh, bailing twine to the uh, one of the rafters on the barn and then just no, stick it. No, because we don't need it. Up that, that way. We may accidentally run into it ourselves. And Do you want to get a sticky face? No, not that. Or, or it's stuck in your hair. Yeah. The cows are ready to come in. They're like, get us out of this rain. All right. So we good? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. We're going to use... Hold on. I'm going to massage. Just to make sure. And then I will... We massage the udders and tea to uh, get the milk to come down when it's... It's kind of similar to... The, similar to what a kid does. Except for it's a kid does it a little bit rougher. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't drink the milk right away. They do. We're basically imitating the baby goat yeah. head butting it. Okay. All right, we're going to use fight, fight back, back, which helps to, uh, um, to prevent, prevent mastitis. Yeah, helps to prevent that. So that way... Get and we're just gonna let her finish eating. The cat, the cats brought their kittens in because it, it was raining. Hi, kitty. <laughs> hi, milkshake. Want to say hi, Fluffy? There goes the kitty. Hurry, we were able to get hot chocolate milked. I wasn't for sure if she was gonna allow me to milk her and try and record. It's gonna take a little bit for her to get back in the swing of being milked. And she has made an improvement since we have started milking her more. Where before, she'd be like to the rodeo she'd be bucking and all that stuff those back legs will come up and whether tony had to hold them or um what i know sometimes for her to stand still we had to act like we were trimming her hoofs and that seemed to work but now this morning and tonight and I think yesterday too, when I was milking her, she was able to just stand there and allow me to milk. So with that being said, she is making improvements. So she still has the two little balls. They're kind of like hard. So like one's similar to a small marble and the other one is just a little bit bigger than that, but they are hard. They do move. So, um, when I got done milking her, um, I sprayed her with the fight back just in case still, you know, we want to be precautious that it may still be mastitis, but I mean, according to the vet, she seems to think it's not. It's just some kind of, a, a, what did she call it? Um, kind of like a calcium buildup, basically. And with those, sometimes they can um, hook onto things. And I got my little baby trying to eat my pants. They will hook onto the wall and um, would have to go up in there and um, remove them. 
but she, like I said before, she wasn't um, too worried about it unless it would happen to start. Um, oh, and I got, no, oh, get off of me. Um, unless it stopped the flow of the milk happening, then we would have to, you know, intervene. But so far it's still, don't bite me. So far it's still allowing the milk to go. And tonight when I was done milking, um, I kind of massaged the back of her bag and down by where those spots are to see if maybe I could get um, some blood flow come into that area. <laughs> the boys are biting at my legs. But we're going to end this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, leave those down below and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.